Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time we had a busy old time, didn't we? We finally managed to uncover the secret of the Tiger Claws illegal casino in the back of their cafe, which turned out to be uh, the, the greatest disappointment of 2022 so far. And then we went and visited Sandra Dorset. Now, I'd want to just sort of focus on that point a little bit because um, after I recorded the last episode, I felt kind of a little bit uh, unfulfilled, like I'd mentioned in the last video, that, as though I'd missed something. So I did something that I don't normally do. I went back to an old save and spoke to Sandra Dorset again, and there was one conversation uh, option that I skimmed over because I'd completely misunderstood what it was referring to. It was the option to congratulate Sandra. Now, I'd gone in with the assumption that Sandra had written the article about the AI that Night Corp had worked on that can turn people cyber psycho. But it turns out she'd actually stolen that from Night Corp and was net running and digging deeper into their systems to try and dig up more information to use against them to try and potentially shut this thing down or at least make people more aware of it. So I went back and I actually tried that option this time. To congratulate you, of course. Anyone who hacks Night Corps earned my respect. Oh, well, I, um, thank you. You know, if they end up going through with it, then... The net will become even more dangerous. You were worried they'd find out about you. Exactly. And this also opened up another conversation line, which was behind an intelligence check. Night Corp secured up the ass. Can't just upload the usual blackout and fire shaft. You must have whipped up some angry demons. You zip them up in an imp? Yeah, Leviathan. Even Cerberus isn't enough if you want to punch through that kind of corpo ice. Use an AGI to condition workers' minds. Mm, that's some super villain shit right there. Not just workers. Anyone. That's the scariest part. You've been a big help. Here, I threw in a little extra for a fellow runner. It's good to be reminded I'm not in this fight alone. Thanks. Be seeing you. So it turns out that Sandra is actually one of the good guys after all, and he's trying to blow the whole thing open on this uh, malicious AI that Night Corp are trying to develop and deploy into the net. And in brandishing her one of the bad guys, I now feel like a total piece of shit, but at least she's sort of vindicated. Um, interestingly, when I chose this conversation item, she also went to a different part of her apartment, sat down in the corner and started net running again. So I don't know if that was pure fluke or whether that particular conversation line had triggered that. But anyway, back to the here and now. We're here outside the ho -Oh Club, and Regina wants us to go and find someone called Jatoro Shobo. Um, let's just very quickly bring up the information that we have again. Uh, help the mocks, help the world. So this is the guy that we're after. He's a guy who operates out of this place, scrolling XBDs, and from what I can see, the mocks have done a bit of digging on the guy, and uh, have found out that... He likes to get hands-on in these XBD productions as well, and perhaps takes a little bit too much pleasure in his line of work. Uh, so, yes, find this fucker Jotaro, uh, Jotaro, sorry, and tell him his days in the entertainment biz are done. <laughs> gladly. I mean, I'll, I'll gladly help out the mocks anytime, but if it uh, gets an XBD scroller off the streets, all the better. Right, so, this is the place we've got to go to the ho -Oh Club. This presumably is a Tiger Claw here. Yeah, Tiger Claw Thug. Is he going to aggro if we get too close? The place is marked as a bar. So, in theory... Wait, are these tigers talking here or just randos? Oh, okay, that's actually inside the place. So, looks like... Let's tag these guys while we're here. Aha! There's the lady who's talking, and we'll tag this guy as well. But let's just go in and see if we can just sort of walk in as a normal patron. Looks like we can. All right, so it looks like... Oh, this is... Oh, see, now, the, now this is the sort of casino I was expecting from the last mission. Um, hello there, some information. Um, possibly sort of staff headcount, floor plan, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I, I am a perfectly normal patron, not here for any nefarious purpose. Heard you got a special offer for your more 
Demanding clientele. Recommend anything? A connoisseur, huh? Oh, Here, God. We got a hot BDS. Extra real feel. Any gender, race, fetish you can dream of. We'll fire up those synapses. Get their serotonin pumping. Oh, yeah. It sounds like your wares are uh, quite exciting, as, uh, as this chap will surely attest. Mm, do I want to say that I want to speak to Jotaro? Is that going to immediately raise suspicion? Want to have a word with Jotaro? You have a death wish? Some people say so. <laughs> Leave a while, you still can. Trust me. Hmm. Okay, well, this guy hasn't immediately raised the alarm. Let's get both of these tagged, though. Uh. Oh, wait, he's marked as a civilian. Okay, so he's actually all right, but he's obviously working for the Tigers here. Um, let's ping this guy as well, just to try and get an idea of uh, the numbers that we're up against here. Oh, we've got several. Several targets upstairs by the looks of things. Hello there. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather you didn't just march straight towards me, if you don't mind. Thanks. Was that the guy that came over here just now? Yes, it was. Yeah, so <laughs> this is what I was expecting to find in that cafe that we turned over before. Ooh, where does this go, I wonder? Okay. All right, restrooms, presumably? Yep. Let's have a quick look, see if there's anything, uh, anything of any interest. That's locked. Uh, hello there. Are you all right? Okay, he's having quite the good time by the looks of things. Let's leave him well alone. Uh, the temptation to hack into the vending machines to score a few extra eddies is, uh, is very real. Or right, I don't particularly want to, uh, want to piss anybody off just yet. That door's inaccessible. And that makes me sad. I don't like not being able to see things that might thing have things that are worth seeing. This time at work, Chum. Fucking dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How much you lose recently? Oh dear. Not much. A watch, a couple of implants, my apartment. Gambler's inside techniques are uh, a quick way to pain. Uh, she's not interested in speaking to us. This guy's lost in his own little world. Anything of interest around here? Ooh, Eddie's interest me. I'm really fishing for, uh, <laughs> not you. I'm fishing. Wait, is that your twin? Did you arrive together or have you just met here by chance? Because, I mean, that's, that's some sort of fluke chance right there. No, nothing, nothing much of interest. Just people hiding themselves away. Okay. I did spot a shard on the table here. Brain dance available titles. Okay, so this might give us a little bit of a flavor as to the uh, the sort of stuff that Jotaro's scrolling. Body horror 12, the first and last time. Arachnophobia unleashed. I, I don't even want to know. My big fat chrome body, welcome to hell to rotted alive, golden shot four. Okay, I mean, I'm sure they're all horrible. Yet, I don't get the same sense of dread that I got from the sort of scroll, um, XPDs that were scrolled at the, uh, the Death's Head place out at the old power plant. Now, that's where I want to be. There is the garage here, but let's go out. Um, I'm gonna take a quick walk. Oh, hello. Our boy here's just moved. Wait, that leads, that leads into a storeroom. The storeroom then, oh no, hold on. There's a window over there. Right, let's bear that in mind. That could be um, a path of ingress, but I want to take a quick walk around. I'm, I just want to give a real quick shout out, and um, this is relevant to the task at hand. A real quick shout out to everybody. Ooh. Look at this little bhikkhu uh, place of worship hidden away here. It's very quaint. I want to give a quick shout out to everybody that's been leaving comments on the videos over the past few weeks. It's really massively appreciated and it really helps, it really helps give a bit of a boost to me. Um, uh, I, I was about to say scrolling these things, good God. Um, sort of making these videos that, uh, that, that you guys 
appreciate what's going on. But a particular shout out to Robert, who's been really active over the past few weeks and has been giving lots of really useful hints and tips. Um, one of I, I recommend you take a quick look over uh, some of the past videos and uh, and Robert's comments because some of them are quite insightful. One of them, however, is to uh, to make sure that I'm scouting places. God, that's a loud television. Make sure that I'm scouting. A uh, hello. <laughs> Got a Soviet fixer in town. My client wants to show some hospitality. Get to know our unexpected guest. Go to the port in Kabuki. Pop a GPS on our comrade's ride. Car came with him all the way from the USSR. More info attached. Oh, I've just managed to walk into another gig right next door to this one by the looks of things. Um, well, we'll investigate that a bit later. Yeah, Robert did, uh, did mention to make sure that I'm scouting around for alternate... Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Hello. Johnny about anywhere? No, he isn't. Um, yeah, alternate routes. Um, which I, I've been trying to do where possible, but perhaps not as much as I could, I guess. Um, ooh, hello, there's a ladder there. Where does that go to? And a locked door. Oh, hello. Who might you be? A Tiger Claws hunter? Ooh. She's got break hold. We'll have to bear that in mind. And there's a shutter here, which is not remotely accessible. Hmm. Would it be worth trying to get up to her, I wonder? Right, we've got we've got these two in this garage here. But I'm very tempted to take this route that I uh, I just stumbled across to see if we can get through these shutters. God, I didn't think that was going to open then. And let's see if I can, uh, see if I can use that to sneakity snoo. Wait, that person has just walked away. Give me you. Follow me. I have a special assignment for you. It is sleep. Permanent sleep. <laughs> nice. Oh, we've got a personal access token. That's going to come in handy. Right, let's see if there's a door to the right here that isn't. Cool, so that person... That's the bar there, isn't it? That's the friendly barman that I was speaking to pre... Shit. Oh, man. Oh, wish I got a chance to take a tag on her. Who was that that just walked through? She didn't look like a tiger. I wonder whether she's just a patron. But she's an additional issue. Anyway, yeah, point being, he stood behind the bar, but shouldn't be an issue for us. Drop a quick save. The other ladies just march straight through that doorway, but why am I moving? Oh, no, I'm over-encumbered. Damn it. All right, let's do a quick scan. You do not have break hold, which is uh, encouraging. Unfortunately, we don't have... We don't have a hidey hole here. Let's just very quickly get rid of some of that crap that we're carrying. Because that's going to seriously screw us over if we're, uh, if we can't move as fast as we need to. Uh, we can just grind down everything from there down, can't we? That works. Oh, can, damn it, can I hop into the next room with this guy over my shoulder? No, I can't. Um, can I pop him? Can I post him through the window? No, clearly not. Damn it. Where am I going to hide him? Oh, no. <laughs> what if that woman that just casually walked through comes back through again? Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Let's just prop you up against the wall. Hop through and see if we can drag him from the other side. Oh, beautiful. Ingenuity is the mother of invention. Now, uh, ingenuity? What? Necessity. Y whatever the saying is. Right, that person's over there. I'm thinking, judging by the amount of time she's taken to make another appearance, I'm guessing that that woman just made a beeline straight out the door. Uh, you do not have brake hold. You're going to regret not equipping brake hold. Aha. Snappity snoo! Bungity boo! Goodbye, what did you have on you? Well, 
um, if anything, I'm likely to become over encumbered again with a personnel access tokens at this rate. Right, uh, it's just grabby, grabby, anything of interest around here. I don't think there is. All right, lovely stuff. Let's, um, let's head on through here. Well, see what we can find through this access point briefly. Uh, BDE9, BD1C, E9, uh, right. What can we string? We could potentially do E9, 1C, BD, BD, 1C, E9. Let's see. E9, 1C. Not going to get it there. E9, 1C, BD, BD. Yes. E9, 1C, BD, BD, 1C, E9. Ooh. Lovely. A few extra pennies in our pocket. We'll take it. Got a knife. Some crap. Wayland Holt. Why would you have Wayland Holt just randomly frozen on your screen? Right. Let's have a little look. Oh, we've got a local network access code. See, this is the second one of these that we've come across. Uh, I hope we actually find an access code for this one because it's, it'd be annoying if, if we fail twice in a row for the coded doors. Right. Let's... Oh, I could really do... What we could really do is running a ping on somebody. Oh, shit. Right, that leads through to the bar. I would love for that door to be closed. I... Oh, it is closed. It's glass. Pants. Oh, oh. Easy. Yeah, we're pretty vulnerable here, aren't we? Let's do a quick scan. No, there's nothing, like, really essential that we... Uh... Oh, God. Am I going to get seen by that guy if I sneak through this door? That's the question. Ah! That's the guy that had his back to the door. Right. Quick save. See if we can slip through without being seen. Oh, we're okay. We're all right. <laughs> the temptation to take that guy out through the, uh, through the little sequin door here. Screw it. Let's go for it. Oh, wait. Hold on. Scan. Can he break hold? No. Good. Come here, darling. La, da, 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 da. Oh, I can't get through the door without killing you first. Sorry. Wait, why shouting? Why shouting? Much shouting. Crap. Right. I'm going to run away. Let's see if we can't get them to just cool down for a moment. Unfortunately, that's not likely because I didn't get a chance to dump that body, which is a bit of a pain. Ah, oh, nuts. Really wanted to try and stealth that from start to end. Okay, she's on alert as well. She's the one I need to watch out for because she was up on that balcony. Whoa. <laughs> I think that was the guy that was asleep on the bar. Hmm. I wonder if it would would be worth trying to uh, approach the place from that, that ladder that we saw over there. The thing is, she's going to see everything. In fact, where is she? All right, that guy is tucked away inside the building, isn't he? Oh, no, he isn't. Not anymore. <laughs> Come here, you, before you're seen. Pop you in there. There we go. Now there's no problem. Hmm. Shit. I can hear more than one voice. Can we do distract on anything? We could do distract there. That will attract him. Oh, <laughs> never mind. He's not that interested. Crap. We could all wait. Wait, hold on. Someone on the move. 
I thought I saw a marker on the move above me then. Well, we might as well hide this guy now we've actually come back. Wait, no, it wasn't there, was it? Oh, container full. Nuts. No, oh, let's just put you here. Nobody's actually wandering around outside the garage. Right. He's too busy screwing around over there. If, uh... Do we have a... Hello? Oh, shit. Yeah, we've got no way of stealthing this now, have we? She's not actually coming down the stairs. Tag her so we can keep an eye on her. I think we might be best just kind of charging in, getting that guy that's downstairs. Shit, he knows where we are. Right, let's go for a... Sign-ups burnout. Meanwhile... Oh, never mind then. Didn't need the sign-ups burnout. Where are you going? No, I don't want to target the... Why would I want to target the door when there's an enemy right there? There we go. Uh... Poo. Right, we completely used up our RAM doing the completely uh, unnecessary Zynats burnout. Let's do... Uh, can we string all of them? Yeah, we can. Five, 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 BD, BD, BD. I don't think that's going to do us much good, to be honest. She is completely oblivious to where we are. Oh, she's not anymore. And I still can't do any sort of uh, quick hack on her. Whoa. Okay. Don't like that. Um, nuts. So we're in a position where we pissed off the entire place and we don't know where anybody is. We do, however, know that she has moved off at of the balcony here, so it might be worth trying that sneak approach. Let's see if we can... Uh, Put the weapons away. Right, see if we can get a bead on. There's no one about by the looks of it. Oh, poo. Uh, can we get... We might even be able to, thinking about it. Seeing as she's not on that balcony anymore, just get straight up onto it. Right, there's someone not too far away from it, at least. Uh... <laughs> okay, I seem to be jammed inside someone's shorts. Whoa, shit. Why can't I get in? No, don't like that much at all. Shit, what's that? Oh my god, that's a turret. Hold on. Can we... Assist mode? <laughs> Overload would destroy it. Assist. That would be nice. Whoa. Shit, we've got a camera here as well. If I can... Let's turn that to friendly mode. At least that'll start pinging a few. Wow, that was close. Right, we're in. And these two closest enemies don't seem to be that badly alerted. Uh, God, we can't sign that's burnout. Damn it, insufficient ramp. Right, let's get you tagged at least. 
I'm sure there's another guy over here. Yeah, there's definitely someone over that way. Oh, that's your Toro. That's your Toro Shobo. Uh, let's see if we can't memory wipe you. I'd like to just try and put him down if I can. Shit, am I going to get seen? Nope. <laughs> right, let's non-lethal you and shove you over here just for now. We'll deal with you later. Oh, I should have shoved him on the bed, shouldn't I? Just to... Uh... <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, excellent. We can actually hand him in. Car's already parked and waking. We could just bail out the window now, couldn't we? Thinking about it, but uh, where's the fun in that? Oh, there's a guy. Damn. Uh, I would love it if I could um, if I could turn that turret onto our side. That'd be incredible. But unfortunately, I'm not quite that good just yet, at least. You go. Run! She's still hanging out around the corner. Right, and I didn't actually see what the results of that ping was. So, can we ping anything else? Aha! Right, let's keep our eye open for any other opposition. Is it just her? We've taken everyone else out? I think we have. Is this... That's gone back to normal now, hasn't it? Let's just turn that off. And then we've just got this young lady to take out. I think. Oh ho ho ho! Uh, alright. She doesn't seem like she's that interested in moving. Oh my god, how many are there? Surprise! Hello, darling! You look like you need a rest. Sit down for a bit. Hmm. Grenades aren't having the impact I'd expected. Ooh, memory wipe could come in handy. You up, cunt! You were saying? <laughs> oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I just realized there's civilians down here. Yes! Is that all of them? I think we might be there. Shit. Where was that? Who's doing the shooting? Ah, there's one more goon just down here. I think that's it, though, by the looks of it. get to him oh. oh what the hell uh i've no idea what took him down was it the was it the last bit of gas from the grenade um, i mean i'm not gonna complain wow um right we'll uh <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll tidy up that's um yeah, I'm going to put my hands up and say that could have gone a lot smoother. A hell of a lot smoother. Oh, wait. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. <gasps> There's a whole other floor. Those are the stairs that we got to the bottom of where the, uh, the woman with the biker helmet came along. Oh, man, there was a whole other floor? Shit, no wonder there were so many of them suddenly appearing. I did get all of them, right? So this is like, uh, 
What, a private booth? Wait, why is that saying failed? It's giving me the option to open this door, and I, I don't exactly know what's inside it, but, um, then failing each time. Right, well, let's, uh, take a quick look around, I guess. <laughs> Bit late for, uh, sorting out cameras, but we'll, uh, we'll switch them off. Right, anything of interest. I don't really want to go around collecting food and drink. We've got more than enough of that, but, uh, any tasty shards that might be lying around would be most welcome. No, that's all food. Hmm. Step behind the bar. Ooh, I'm not supposed to be here. I do feel naughty. 700 eddies? Not to be sniffed at. Uh, you may leave now. The coast is clear. I have dispatched the bad people. It doesn't seem to be much of anything around here. There's a few dancing podiums, and I presume this is a, uh, a dancer's... Changing area, a couple of computers, maybe something of interest about here? Nope. Oh, we need to keep our eyes open for a code, don't we? Because there was a code locked computer downstairs in the garage area. Restrooms. Okay. Uh, is, wait, there's beds here. That's slightly concerning. Although this does look like more of a, a staff bunk area than than <laughs> a bunking area. Hmm. Still nothing spectacularly interesting. I haven't spotted any codes. Although I'm must admit I'm not looking all that hard. Ooh, little sort of server room. Okay. Access point. See if we can relieve these people of some Edwards. Although this is from Illicit Games, so I don't feel, like, great about it, but... Uh, if we... Ooh, could we string 1CBD, 1C, 1CE9, 1CBD, 1C, 1C... Yes, we could. 1CBD, 1C, 1CE9. Nice! A triple whammy. Almost a thousand eddies. Uh... Thanks. Mm, or shutter doors. We'll quickly jack into these and see if we can scoop some more wards. I'll just go for the top line on each one. So E9, E9, BD1C, E9. No, E9. E9, BD1C. Ah, I could have continued on that one. Can't leave with these heinous people with all of the money now can we 1c 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 or we could do bd can we start off bd9 no uh we do bd e9 yeah that'll work bd e9 1c 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 lovely got a couple of levels there at least oh and level up breach protocol increases ram by one yes right i'm not seeing any shards around anywhere which Makes me tremendously sad. As I really had hoped, we might be able to scrape some information um, regarding that computer on the on the ground floor. I've probably walked uh, walked completely past the code written on a wall or scrawled on a a data pad or something somewhere. But hey ho, right, let us continue. So this floor, this was the one that was on the balcony. <laughs> That's interesting that she was providing overwatch on the balcony and the only weapon she had was a baseball bat. What was she going to do with... Oh, God. Oh, no. Here it is. The horror begins. <sighs> a bit worried that there's a katana laying underneath her. Was that used to uh, prepare her for her moment of... Uh, her stardom. See what we can gather from here. Um, mm, 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 mm. Not an awful lot by the looks of it. 1C1C55BD. No, that doesn't even work. 1C55. Uh, five, five. 
five five B D one. I'm not even going to be able to complete this with the top line, am I? No, I've screwed it. Oh well. Not really that bothered at the moment. Right, Chitoro, what do you actually have on you at the moment? A comfortable Midori biofabric cocktail jacket. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. And a conversation between Jatoro Shobo and Elazar Flores. That's a name we haven't heard. Come over, I have a few bodies to get rid of. In cold storage? Yeah. Okay, I'll come tomorrow. They'll be cremating a few at La Katrina, so I'll toss in yours. Just come and take them. I don't care about the rest. Understood. So Eleazar Flores was working for Jatoro to uh, dispose of the um, dispose of the talent after they've uh, had their moment in the spotlight. Oh, God. Sick son of a bitch. Right. Uh, let's get you around and do a little bit of Lutong. Wow, that's a trick and a half. Stand the thing up on end. Oh, damn it. Right. I've just realized, actually, I... I can't remember the last time I went ahead and scrapped junk. Oh, God, how much? Right, let's take a look. Our, um, our carry weight at the moment is up to 220. Let's see. Oh, God, of course, we've got multiple of things, haven't we? Oh, no, I should have done this a long time ago. I'll tell you what I should do, actually. Let's take a look. We've got, we've got one perk point. Let's take a look and see if we're able to do that uh, that perk point that automatically disassembles. Here we go. Scrapper. Junk items are automatically disassembled. Let's just go ahead and get that because we're going to keep, keep on hitting inventory problems here, aren't we? So, will that go ahead and do the thing? We've got crafting points. Right. Interesting. We're, we're getting updates as though we're getting rid of stuff, but... Ah, right, so Smarter Scrapper mod has stepped in here. So these, yeah, these items are worth a fair bit, actually. 100, 100, 200 for silver wrap earrings, which we've got two of, and 200 for Sinfang necklaces, which we've got two of. Um, right. <laughs> this cleared absolutely sod all carry weight. Let's get rid of some of... Oh, here we go. We can get rid of some stuff here, can't we? We definitely don't need a hammer. We're not interested in that. These machetes and regular knives and... <laughs> especially monkey wrenches, are of no use to us whatsoever. That brings us down... Oh, that's got rid of hardly anything. I really need to sit down and sort through our clothing at some point. I might do that between episodes. Um, right, fine. Range weapons. Let's get rid of that. Nekamata, we want the Achilles. Uh, I don't... No, I don't think we're going to use that because I quite like the Nekamata. Copperhead, Defender, Pulsar. Saratoga is still our only packs loaded weapon at the moment, so we'll keep hold of that for the time being. We want Lizzie's pistol, and then everything, yeah, everything from there down can go very away. There we go. That's uh, that's cleared up some space. Ah, oh, not a single readable email to be found. I am disappoint. Although saying that, let's. Uh, there we go. Get a bit of peace and quiet. What have we got here? 1600 eddies? Yes, please. Oh, here we go. Ah! This. That's the guy that we read about in um, a shard not too long ago. Doc Paradox, I think his name is. The sort of activist that could potentially be the product of. Uh... Oh, I thought there was nothing there to read then. Could potentially be the product of. Um corpo marketing departments but anyway right let's see what sick depravity lies on the guy's computer studio equipment delivery from fan yi it's a name to remember standard handcuffs handcuff and uh, hand and ankle cuff set small cage with strategically placed openings winky face breathing ch breathing tubes oh god scalpel set fecal collection system Oh my god, epidural kit, dildo, variety pack, rope, strap on variety pack, anal beads and plugs, electrodes with cables, quad electrodes, aquarium, and a full suite ambulance. All items should be delivered within five business days. What? Expectations. Uh, Lenny. Hello. I remember that name. Lenny. He was associated with Gottfried and Frederick Person. I'm sure there was a, an email between Gottfried and Lenny where Gottfried was basically saying to Lenny, if you're getting cold feet, then fuck off, essentially. 
because Lenny was trying to talk Gottfried out of getting Freddy involved. Right, anyway, Jotaro messaged Lenny saying, what should I scroll next? Binding and mutilation, coercion, distress, torture. It's, it's all become too ordinary, no longer fresh. Oh, oh dear, woe is me. Perhaps I'll layer it with a feeling of impending death. Crescendo it throughout. It's a relatively simple approach for a stronger, tastier feel. I have many other ideas too, but my product also depends on your demand. My question is, what do you need? Oh, wait, hold on. My product also depends on your demand. So is Lenny a dealer? Does he distribute the BDs, the XBDs out? Lenny replied, listen, all you got to do is scroll and whatever comes out of it, I can sell. No need to scrape the bottom of the barrel just yet. Sales are good. Let's leave a little room for imagination, for the unexpected. Your clientele's a unique bunch that knows more or less what to expect from you. Why hand over everything you've got out of the gates? We sell the mystery, intrigue. People eat that shit up. If they're willing to buy something off the beaten path, not knowing quite what to expect, that just amps the thrill. A feeling they'll associate with your work. They'll be hungry for more and we can use that. Trust me, don't overthink this. You know what they want and I know how to sell it. Oh, wow. So Lenny is a distributor, but I wonder if he got out of the game after that conversation with uh, Gottfried or just severed ties with him. It's assuming I've actually remembered the name correctly. All cameras off from Jotaro to Takeshi Taguchi. Cease all forms of data logging on my floor. Cams everything and set up dampers. It better be impossible for anyone outside to hear me, but do it so it won't interfere with my BD equipment. I need this done now. Ooh. What? What's frightened Jotaro then? He's obviously been scared off by something. Do you think someone's hunting him? International cuisine from Jaehyun to Jotaro. Good morning. I'm offering a new dish that should satisfy your sophisticated palate. Ingredients include one black lamb, two pink porky boys. Wait, hold on. As in cops? Okay. And with an Asian twist, a young hen and rooster. In total, five young up-and-coming stars who are dying to perform in your productions. Important, make sure to apply the cream provided in your package to their biomonitor wounds. It would be a shame if they died in the middle of scrolling because of some silly infection. Oh, God. The biomonitor wounds. Hold on. So, wait, has he been ripping... Has he been ripping their cyberware before he puts them into XBDs? Is Jotaro a glorified scav? Also, I equipped each with a GPS in case any of them try to go out for any long walks. But most importantly, have some fucking fun. As of today, you're, they're your property. P.S. I know you don't like surprises, so I personally double-check their histories. None have ever fucked professionally, so it's up to you to convince them and break them in how you see fit. Smiley. Return from J Jataro. I only hope this time they prove more durable. I can't cook with soft ingredients. Oh. It's just... Oh, it, it never ceases to amaze me how human beings are such a commodity. Ridiculous. A couple of files here. Raw files for edits. Okay, last month BD scrolls. Raw, ready for editing. Okay, cool. And what's this? New ideas, inspirations. Expanding the brain dance art form. Thoughts and ideas. Live in that film. Days of uninterrupted... Oh, no, sorry. Like in that film. Days of uninterrupted sodomy, domination, playing with shit. Play how? Need novel ideas. Groups of boys and girls. Bind two people facing each other, but loose enough to move a little. Forced to do things to each other that they don't like. Need to interrogate first to find out. Such as fucking someone ugly or homeless at the same time. Something to catch at least five seconds of pleasure mixed with either guilt or disgust. Oh, God. Link optics of two people to scroll the BD through one experience of the other. Mixed feelings of recording body and linked observer. Force the recording body to fuck the person the observer cares about deeply. Oh my god. Requires a lot of setup and, and coordination. Too much? <laughs> Too much? Jesus. And, uh, yeah, turn off all cameras. Why not? Oh god. This is another brain bleach scenario, isn't it? Oh, that's where we came in. Right, let's, um... One final sweep of the place, and then let's get the hell out of here, because uh, I, I think my brain's taken enough sick and wrong for now. Drugs? Glitter. We need to, uh, we really need to take a look through what drugs we have on us and what the benefits of them are. And actually put them to use, because I, I'm, I've not been using any of the, uh, the extra drugs that I've got in my inventory. Oh, speaking of which, I actually could do with eating something to get some uh, health regen on the go. Hello? Ah, oh, we can't open. 
pants, but there's a thing. I, I want a thing. Poo. Wait, why is authorization not found? I've I've picked up about 17 authorization cards. Damn it. Okay. Um, nothing else in here. What have we got by the TV? Knife that I'm only going to be breaking down anyway. And yet again, no sign. No sign of any code for that computer in the basement. Most disappointing. Right, anyway, let's collect our quarry and get the hell out of here. Come on, Big J, you're coming with me. We're going for a little walk, you and I. <laughs> I've come the wrong way. I was so tempted to just throw him over the side of the balcony, though. Wait, where's this? Did I? Wait, did I come in here? Oh, yes, I did. I missed that access point, but uh, never mind. I'm not too worried. In fact, I should be taking a look to see if any of these guys have uh, have shards on them. Very confused about that access code for the basement. Oh, gosh, of course. Completely forgot. I've run out of stamina after a short while, don't I? Of, uh, of heaving people around. No matter. Let's, uh... Oh, let's put you down a moment and take a bit of a breather. There you go. <clears throat> <laughs> Did you survive the drop? I actually don't really care at this point. <laughs> yes, he did. Come on, boy. You're coming with me. Down we go. Ra -ta 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 -ta. Right. Carry on about your business. Um, thank you for your time and your patronage, sir. It's uh, it's much appreciated. <laughs> oh, I just realised. Walking out with your Toro uh, over my shoulder into Tiger Claw's territory possibly isn't the best idea. Not oh, I'm going to have to put him down again for a moment because my I let my stamina rebuild briefly. Uh, <laughs> funnily enough, seeing the proprietor of the place being hauled over someone's shoulders made everyone want to leave. Can't imagine why. Aha! Not a step closer. Right! To get you dumped off. I, I really wanted to keep him alive because I want Regina and the Mox to uh, deal justice on this guy. I've got a funny feeling that Regina's going to be none too happy about how that went down again, but I don't really care. She's got her uh, her quarry. It's going to be an interesting conversation. Jotaro received. The Mox will gladly take him off my hands. <laughs> give him a taste of his own meds. Thanks. Shut. You are most welcome, as always. Right. Uh, there's a drone over there. Interesting. Right. Well, I mean, it didn't go quite to plan. I would have loved to have been able to stealth that thing from start to finish, but um, yeah, clumsy old me. I <laughs> I need to work on my stealthing technique. But uh, guys, thank you very much for joining me. We're going to leave things there for now. Um, I want to take a little bit of a dig in a moment and see what this other job was that Regina's got cooked up for us. But until then, if you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, then uh, follow the usual established procedure and I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye now.